Are you seeking strategies to help manage impulsive or fear driving trading decisions? You're not the only one. What if you could find clarity and chaos? Let's explore. Today, we're going to dive into a strategy that could be your game changer. And guess what? We're using the popular TradingView platform to do this. It's user-friendly, intuitive, and favorite among many traders. So you want to open Google and search for TradingView. Then just head to their website and you'll find the charts right there. It's super easy. Our strategy today revolves around the gold chart, specifically the 5-minute time frame. What makes it exceptional is its flexibility. It's easily adaptable to different markets and time frames, making it a valuable tool for various trading situations. To kick things up, let's set up the indicators. Look at the top of the trading view screen for the indicator section. First, we'll add the SPS Algo indicator. It's a tool that helps spot trends and signal to enter trades. After adding the SPS algo, let's make it work better. See the gear icon next to its name? That's settings. Watch closely as I show you how to change settings to make the indicator work best for you. Now let's talk about using SPS Algo for trading. It has a 200 EMA line that shows if the market is going up or down. If the prices are above the line, the market is rising. And if the prices are below the line, it's falling. SPS Algo also draw lines called trend lines and tells you when to buy or sell. When prices go above the line, it's a buy signal called a breakout. When they go below a trend line, it's a sell signal. This makes trading with price action simple and helps you make better trades. Let me give you some examples of how this indicator can improve your trading. Let's look at the Bitcoin chart on a 1 minute time frame.
So, see those trades? We made an impressive 86% profit with just a few trades. The indicator makes a significant difference in boosting your earnings. Here's another example on the nifty chart using a 15 minute time frame. Look at how precise those signals are. And now to declutter the chart, we can disable the short trend line option in the SPS algo settings. This way, we only see breakout signals and the 200 EMA line for a cleaner view. Now it's time to make the strategy even more profitable. But before that, if you like what you've learned so far, please support the Trade Genius channel. We share daily easy to follow strategies to help you make money trading online. Subscribe and give us a thumbs up to stay updated. Now, let's boost our strategy using the Chand Momentum Oscillator. Find it in the Trading View Indicator section. After adding it, we'll optimize its settings for better performance. Click the gear icon next to the indicator's name and follow along as I adjust the setting. The Chan Momentum Oscillator measures momentum and market strength. If the line of the Chan Momentum Oscillator is above the zero level, the market is bullish. Below zero means it's bearish. Now, let's combine it with SPS Algo for better trading. It's time to learn the exact entry and exit rules of trades. We'll start with the rule for long trade, then move on to short trades. When going for a long trade, we'll want to keep a few things in mind. First, wait for the green light from the SPS algo. That's your buy signal, which is a breakout signal. Next, make sure the trend is your friend by checking if the price is above the 200 EMA line.
Lastly, ensure the chain momentum oscillator is in the positive zone. So once we've got all three checks, you're good to go. And also, remember to set a stop loss to protect your trade. You can use a recent swing low or the 200 EMA line for that. And when it comes to taking profits, aim for a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Keep these pointers in mind and you'll be navigating those long trades like pro. Now let's talk about short trades. When you're considering a short trade, it's like playing a game of chess. You want to anticipate the market's next move. First, look out for a sell signal from the SPS algo indicator. That's like your opponent making a strategic move. Next, ensure the trend is actually heading south by checking if the price is below the 200 EMA line. And finally, verify that the chain momentum oscillator is hanging out in the negative zone. Just like in chess, protect your position by setting up a stop loss. Use a recent swing high point or the 200 EMA line as your safety net. And as for taking profits, aim for a risk reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. That's it traders, you now have a powerful strategy at your fingertips. If you want to learn how to make money with the easiest trading strategy, choose the recommended video on the screen to watch next. Happy trading!